mirror and blaming yourself. You're the father. And regardless of what the government or women or anybody else says, in the sight of God, you're going to stand judgment for how you raised, how you took care of your wife, and how you took care of your kids. When people, this generation of young people, uh-huh. I got kids coming in trying to work at my dealership every day. And you talk about, you know, you young black males. Look, they're not dropping out of school to sell drugs. They're dropping out of school to go to work because they don't have anybody taking care of them. And they're trying to put food on the table. And where we have let them down is they walk into my dealership. We're not having been taught anything, and they're very hard to employ. But the idea that that this generation doesn't want to work or doesn't know how to work, we've got an all-volunteer military. We've been at war for 20 years coming up on, and they're still meeting their recruiting quotas, quotas, volunteering, not being drafted like my generation. And, and I, you know, I just don't have that experience with them. Yeah, there's some sorry kids out there. There are also some sorry parents. But as far as a group, even, like you say, even the young black males, everybody wants to get on all the time. Uh-huh. I wish you could see the parade of them tr- that are trying to work. And we hire the ones we can as friends. But I got, I'm telling you, these schools, kids drop out because they know when their time's being wasted. They know when people that aren't